Hello everyone, Michael Jacobs, head golf professional, the Michael Jacobs Explosive Golf School. I have a video tip for you entitled, Leaning Into a Turn. Here's what I mean by that. On the downswing, uh, our May 2008 article, uh, Shoulder Motions, must read for you. But uh, let, let's um, go on the way down now. We discussed mostly the backswing there. This, I'm going to make that backstroke with as flat as possible right shoulder. Now on the way down, what I'm going to do is, in order to get my right shoulder to be able to turn towards the ball on the way down, there must be some type of tilt of my spine or some type of lean in my spine to be able to get that right shoulder to work towards the ball. If I kept my spine uh, straight up and down or if I moved the top of my spine towards the hole, you'll notice that that right sh shoulder would ride in very high and that would be your classic uh, inadequate pivot, come over the top, shank, whatever you, whatever ball flight you, you would get out of that. But so what we need to do, what I call leaning into a turn is, and this is where I did my little airplane drill, if I stretched my arms out, as I'm coming into that impact, I need to, to get that right shoulder and right hand on the ball, to get that right shoulder to turn towards the ball, I need to lean into that turn and allow my spine to tilt back. So your spine will in effect tilt to the right on the way down, helpful to have assistance from your hips as you tilt. You'll notice that my spine is going to tilt this way. Some type of assistance of opening that body helps that tilt. So definitely want you to start thinking of it not as a move with the upper spine towards the hole. That upper spine is going to tilt so that that right shoulder can turn towards the ball. So you in effect should feel like you're leaning into that turn. Hope that helps. Michael Jacobs. Michael Jacobs Explosive Golf School. Thank you. Now when I'm at setup, I'm in uh, if I'm in mid-body hands, which is what we suggest, I'll just do this hand-wise without a club. If I have mid-body hands, that left wrist is bent and that right wrist would be flat. Obviously impact hands is opposite. Left wrist would be flat and that right wrist would be slightly bent. So when we're in that address and this wrist is bent, what we're going to do is, if you're going to do some type of waggle, you're going to rehearse how those hands are going to move through the stroke. How they're at address, you're going to waggle them to those impact hands, back to address, waggle them to the impact hands, back to address. So that would be basically a waggle, and if I do that, it's a wrist-only move, that club would move right on the plane. So I'm um, at address, waggle into impact hands, address, waggle into impact hands from the wrist only. Uh, any other types of waggles where you would use your arms or things of that nature, I mean you could do any of that. Uh, we haven't really put out a whole media kit on our explosive golf school on different types of waggle moves. When you come out and work with us, we pretty much take whatever dress routine you have, maybe fine tune a thing or here or there. Uh, we're not real, we keep it real wide with address routines when you come to our little golf school here. So it, waggle would be uh, address conditions to impact conditions. Address hands, impact hands. The mid body address hands, impact hands. So that would be uh, always a basic waggle if you wanted to add that to your game. Thank you. Michael Jacobs from the Michael Jacobs Explosive Golf School.